Uh, something I find interesting, you know, especially with like Brother Day, um, you've got a bit of the swagger back coming into season two. I mean, you're yeah. you're like taking on ninjas. You know, mm-hmm. you're you're there's plenty of palatial intrigue. Like, how yeah. is it revisiting this character like after season one? Well, I think well, he's not the same character as season one, which is one of the fun things about playing him for me. Um, and I, I feel like in season one he learned that he wasn't someone else like he there was the the evolution the character went through was realizing that he had sentience that he had an individual uh individuality that was unique from this line of clones that he's a part of and i think that this the cleon 18 that i'm playing now is like reveling in that individuality and i think he um I enjoyed playing someone who not only thought, not only has a big ego, but thinks he has a, a bigger ego, bigger brain, you know, smarter than all the rest of the clones, um, and intends to be the last Cleon. Uh, so, yeah, I had a great time playing the character this season. <laughs> <laughs> he was very happy, I can tell you, on set, just like, just loving it. Without yeah. saying, without saying, giving specifics, the first scene of season two for both of you is like the best character introduction, I think. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. Oh, we had fun. Yeah, yeah so it was crazy. Fun. Yeah. Laura, how about you? I mean, we had seen the programming with, you know, and the true loyalties for Demersal by the end of season one. Mm. Now that we know where she lies with the Cleon dynasty, like how is exploring that and that inner conflict for an android in season two. I love that. That 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 whole inner conflict is kind of like it's such a gift for an actor to be able to to kind of explore that. And kind of season two, we get to see different ways how she navigates through that kind of paradox uh, and conflict inside her. And even though she remains the same. But the situation in the the whole empire is so much more messier and chaotic in season two. And this Cleon the Eighteenth, with her with his massive ego, mm-hmm. kind of requires different kind of actions from her also. So she remains the same, but she wait, you're, just you you're know, no, it it's all love? good. Like it so wasn't. <laughs> wait, what? Of course, it was love. Yes. <laughs> but yes, but so it was a lot of fun. And I, I, I loved, especially this season, our relationship kind of and how many turns it takes kind of you're like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, actually, who's controlling who and who? What is the, the original kind of who's enslaving whom and kind of the power, power fight, well, like no, power no. struggle. My no. <laughs> character is enslaving your character because you're we're a robot. Still in tra- yes, there, the, then, the show has right? many questions. Yes. And we're still Wheels trying wheels. to find the answers. <laughs> But yeah, so it was fun. Well, now that you've seen like season one, especially like when you're doing something as VFX and post-production heavy and you've seen what kind of show it is tonally and just like the level of like production, like how was it coming back to build upon, if you'll pardon the pun, the foundation you laid in season one and heightening it for season two? I mean, luckily we have, you know, Rory, who does uh, the art direction of the show, is so incredibly mm-hmm. talented. So the sets are extraordinary. The places we go, we've been to, you know, the Canary Islands, Malta, uh, the season. Ireland, Prague. Yeah, Prague. Iceland. So we shoot in these extraordinary places. And when you're there in the costumes, you know, in the middle of Fort Aventura Desert, you really do feel like I'm the emperor of the galaxy going <laughs> to stop Harry Seldon from. Oh, the little you know. robot just following you, making sure. <laughs> Sure, everything's okay. Yeah, it's so fun. It's like you yeah. can really, you know, lose yourself in the in the the ambition of it, the the bigness of it, without the CGI. I mean, the CGI comes on later, but you know, mm. we're responsible for playing these, you know, yeah, little people <laughs> maneuvering. Well, you can see it bigger and better for Foundation season two on July fourteenth on Apple TV Plus. This is Samstone CBR guys. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you.